Hi, I'm Gary White for Channel 6 Central Kentucky Television, and I'm here with Gwen Arts, who is a personal chef here in Lebanon and Marion County. And today we're doing Baking 101, where we're actually going to, I'm going to learn, which you already know, <laughs> but I'm going to learn how to make a cake, right? And it's called a one, two, three, four yellow cake. Yes. Because there's four steps and it should be kind of simple. So, so you tell me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see, because I'm a very basic beginning learner here. <laughs> oh, well, um, the higher end pastry shops, this is what they do if they're going to make a cake from scratch. Um, uh -huh. It's got real butter and it's got two leavening agents. Uh, we start off with the baking powder and then we finish with egg whites. So it's kind of a, a full process of, of getting the most out of our ingredients. Okay. Um, and we're, this is not a cake from a box, correct. right? So this is a, <laughs> A, a scratch cake, I guess is what it'd be called, right? Yes. Making it from scratch. So that's what we wanted to try and see how we do it. And we have three uh, three pans here because it's actually going to be a three layer cake, right? Yes. And we're going to also make frosting. Yes. What kind of frosting? Just plain old buttercream. Okay. Sounds good though. All right. All right. So let's get started with our Baking 101 class here with Gwen. And what do I do first? The first thing I do is I turn on my oven to 350 and I get that preheated while I'm waiting for things to soften. Okay. And then the second thing is I uh, butter and flour three cake pans. Okay. Um, here we have sifted two and three fourths, three fourths, I'm sorry, two and two thirds cups of flour. Okay. Uh, two and one fourth teaspoon of baking powder and one half teaspoon of salt. And we've sifted it all together twice. Yes. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> I measured it out and yeah. sifted. Yep. <laughs> um, then we measure out uh, one cup of milk and uh, one and one half teaspoons of vanilla. Okay, and that's going to give us some flavor, right? Yes. Now we were talking, this is baking powder. That's important, right? Because there is baking soda. Yes. But you want to make sure you use the right thing, right? Correct, yes. Uh, right. Baking powder uh, leavens with heat. Baking soda is more of a chemical reaction that leavens with acid. Okay. The, uh, milk is measured out, and then we have uh, two sticks of butter, or one uh -huh. pound of butter being soft, or one half pound of butter being softened. Now, my responsibility when I came to was to bring some butter, and it was a pound of butter, but it was unsalted, right? Because you can get salted butter and you can get unsalted butter. and. This one was, you wanted some unsalted, right? Correct. And is there a reason for that? Um, that way your pastries don't taste too salty and you can kind of add, add your own special touch onto the pastries. Okay, but you said you can add salt to taste if you like it more Correct. salty, right? Okay. Yeah, and with butter, salt and butter go very well together. Oh, absolutely. So. <laughs> <laughs> so we're softening the butter right here and we're gonna start off by uh, whipping the butter until it's nice and fluffy and then okay. we're going to add sugar to that and then we're going to add our egg yolks to that and i'll get started okay and we yeah. have our mixer over here that we're going to use okay so now we're at the mixer and we're going to add in the butter right correct okay and that was half a pound there was two sticks two sticks of butter correct And we're whisking this. So we're uh, beating the butter. Beating. beating so nice butter. and fluffy. Okay. Now, if you don't have a professional mixer like you have here, you could do it by hand, but it'd be kind of time consuming. Yes, it would be very hard build some muscles though. The old days, that's what they did. So we're going to add one and one half cups of sugar. There's a half. As you can see, the butter is kind of breaking up in there, getting softened, softened, beaten. So is there like a time that you 
how much time this takes, or is it just kind of a just by sight? Just feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my feel. Yeah, that'd be good if you put it on toast, buttered, <laughs> salt, and or sugar, uh, sugar and butter. Yeah, mm. if you wanted to make honey butter, you could do it this way too for your cornbread. Ah. And then you just pour the honey in. Mhm. Mm just do butter and honey. Okay. Another tip from our personal chef. <laughs> the sides here. Now, I was told before when you were scraping, if you can hear the sugar, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's not completely dissolved. Yeah. Yes. So yes. it's not quite where you want it just yet. Right. So we'll let this go a little bit longer. While that's, while that's whipping, I'll just mm -hmm. go ahead and separate the eggs. Okay. And I'll show you my trick. Grab the egg. So we're just looking for the egg yolk. Mm -hmm. And I've seen them where they break the egg and kind of like sift it back and forth, but you're just grabbing it. I'm just grabbing it. Uh, I guess. Uh, when you're in the pastry shop, you got to take shortcuts to save you some time. It looks like you did a good job. They look clean. Yeah, <laughs> my hands aren't, but the egg yolks are clean. <laughs> so now that the uh, the butter is nice and whipped up and fluffy, I'm going to go ahead and add egg yolks to that. Okay, so you're just pouring them in. Mm -hmm. I say to do one at a time when you're mixing in uh, for cookies and whatnot. You can see the color change too. Yeah. It's more yellow. Nice and fluffy. <laughs> so part of the process for this one, two, three, four cake is we're going to combine um, our butter, sugar, and yolks with about a third of the flour. And then we're going to mix that on low. And then we add about half of the milk. Okay. So this is the milk that we already mm -hmm. did before. Yeah. What we measured okay. out. And then we're going to add more of the flour mixture. Okay. And then we're going to add the rest of the liquid. It also has the vanilla in it, it's giving us some flavor there. Yes, the, the milk and vanilla, and then the rest of the flour here. Okay, got that. And then we'll just kind of bring it to b together. We don't want to mix it up too much. Otherwise, the gluten and the flour will start to get a little stringy. We we'll want to keep it fluffy. So just enough until combined. Okay. That's kind of what it looks like. And that's our batter. That's our batter. We're going to have to use the same bowl for the egg whites. Mm -hmm. So we're going to clean this one out. Okay. So we're going to clean that, and then we'll come back with our egg whites. Yeah. <laughs>